Howdy folks, Walter update, uh, April Fool's Day. Um, got a lot to get through. Okay, first of all, here is Walter. A uh, little clean up here and there. I finally got some heat sinks on my uh, motor controller. Yada, yada, yada. But here's the fun stuff. I built a new uh, encoder for encoding uh, head moves. I got a little joystick there. All right. Start and stop buttons for starting and stopping the recording. This is to record um, head moves onto my EEPROMs, which can be played back. I'll show you in a second. Even better. Ta da! Brand new uh, remote control. Here's what we got uh, joystick, but I've included four soft buttons that correspond to whatever's on the display above them. Um, <clears throat> RF and uh, LED. Say hi, Bondo. Um, on off switch and sync cable, and then also I have a wired serial out, which I can plug uh, another jack into if I want a wired serial out. So, um, basically, I can go through some menus here. Uh, let's say remote control. Oh, come on, baby. RC. There we go. RC mode. Reverse off means my re my, the reverse on the robot is actually turned off. I've got a lockout on it, so I can't slam it in reverse when it's full speed. I can turn that on. I can turn that off. I can go to speed, which when it's in the forward only mode, I can, right there, speed is 140. I can adjust that up or down. And select it. Uh, and then when the reverse is on, it's a predetermined very slow speed. Uh, also, under the speed menu, I've got, go back to the main menu, come on baby, main menu, um, with a little arrow arrow for more options. So, um, but, let's see what we got here. Uh, how do I do this? Okay, I'm going to set that there. And, okay, I got an unscrew tripod here. I thought I was going to need a tripod. But I don't. Okay, so, uh, alright. Okay, Walter. There's that. We get a little nod out of him. So we're ready to go. Let's go to autonomous. Now. Uh, got some cute head moves out of the deal. And in auto, in auto mode, it is a fixed speed to, um, well, when it has to reverse itself, I don't want it to slam itself in reverse when it's going full speed. Bondo, are you going to move? Thank you. Alright, now, because I had the problem with the sharp sensors giving me noise on my radio frequency, my, um, my kill switch for the auto drive is actually via um, infrared. There it is, if my code would catch it. And at this point, it basically just keeps spitting out an infrared signal until the code catches it. That's what the confirm confirm is. It means the robot stopped. I can confirm that. I'm back to regular control. I'll go to remote control. I get a nod out of it. Uh, that turns off my uh, sharp sensors, so my radio control works. And as you will see, Walter is actually pretty quick. This is about half full speed. 
have to hold the camera and drive. Now I can turn the re reverse on. I now have reverse and it's considerably slower. I also have, uh, um, God, it's, it's hard to drive and hold the camera. I also have rotate. I can go back to my menu, select auto, and we're back to autonomous drive. Alright, six minutes. This should take forever to get up to YouTube. Later, folks.